Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You and welcome to part 21 of my Let's Play of Mon Moose Quest Paradox RPG Confrontation Chapter. So this is a really big waterfall. We heard that the mermaid's secret home was here. Yeah, in the waterfall there's a cave. And yeah, that's their hidden village. Yeah, now that we're here, let's invade and take all their stuff. Okay, sorry, but I can't let you pass here. Please return once you came. Well, we're sorry too, but we're gonna force our way through. We need to stop the Queen Mermaid. In that case, I'll defeat you here. I won't let you go to the... I won't let you see the Queen. What are you saying, all eminent-like? Thanks to you guys. The public affairs... No. The public reputation of the mermaids has taken a big hit. Yeah. Says the pirate. Well, she's just a pirate. She didn't declare war on anybody. Alright, let's go. Inside is the mermaid's base, so don't let your guard down, as usual. But, this is an unexpectedly broad cave. And there's also water running through it. Well, in the depths we should find the Queen Mermaid. Once we defeat her, the attack on San Ilia should stop. Hmm. It's L. Wawa! Run away. What's that? The mermaid princess we fought in San Ilia. It seems like she's worried about something. Hey, what's wrong? Do you want to talk? We, when we attacked San Ilia, were the people of the town hurt very much? Of course, the soldiers and the townspeople were all... There were many injuries amongst the soldiers and the townspeople. Did you not know that that's what happens? S sorry no, no, I take that back. Humans and mermaids are enemies. Hmm. That girl seems kind of like a victim here. Thanks to her parents' ego, she got forced into that battle. Here we go again. But the humans did something terrible to my mother, she says. They killed someone very important to her for the reason that he got along with monsters. Yes, that was a terrible thing to do. But it's been decades since that happened. The people of today are already living in a different age. The humans who now are living in in harmony with the monsters. Do you plan to punish them for a crime committed so long ago? Hmm. Say, would you like to apologize to the townspeople? Uh huh. Well, I can't honestly say that they'll smile and forgive you. Your actions have incited some hatred towards the monsters. It won't disappear all that easily. But 
The person responsible here is the Queen Mermaid. There's no need to blame you any further. That's just cruel. Hmm. She seems kind of sad. Alice, don't you think you said that a bit too severely? Well, she is someday going to be the Queen of the Mermaids and lead all of their race. So this time she needs to learn this lesson, heavy as it is. But it seems she's a sincere and sensitive girl. She'll make a good queen. Well, if her mother doesn't make her force any more mistakes on her. Yeah, we need to do something about the Queen Mermaid. After all, Elle is kind of in trouble. After all, it'll be a problem for Elle if we don't. Yeah, so let's go beat up the Queen of Mermaids. Not only the humans, but she's also hurting her own daughter. Hmm. We've got another reason to fight here. Recovery circle, that means... Yep. So, humans, you've come this far. Do you hate mermaids that much? We actually don't hate you. In fact, we're here to cut away the hate between our races. Now, I can sympathize with the unhappiness you felt before, but... This revenge you're taking is... exceeds what was done to you. Well, this is actually something for the good of all the mermaids. It's not my personal... Cir my personal circumstances have nothing to do with it. Huh. I kind of think that you are mixing your pri public and private affairs here. Furthermore, your grudge is stealing the future of the mermaids. Okay, did you guys come here to defeat me? Or did you come here to lecture me? Well, defeat you. So, your grudge isn't going to be stopped by anything other than force, is it? Right. I will not be stopped. This sentiment, if you call it a grudge, then I will carry this grudge forward. Well, in that case, we're going to stop it with my sword. So, let's go. Very well. Have at thee, hero. I'll teach you my anger. Mm, okay, sure. Well, it's my loss. Well, there's no way we could lose, really. You hold your own grudge and you won't allow other... And you deny other people their grudges. So, pull your troops out of San Ilia. But, I, as the queen, the mother, hey, Ellie. Hey, mother, I want to apologize to the humans. Ellie. If you're going to become the queen, you need to understand how the command of an army works. So I'm going to tell you the very basic, basic rule here. In an army, once an order has been issued, the all the responsibility for the actions of that order 
fall upon the one who gave the order. So the ones who obey orders actually don't bear responsibility for the effects. In fact, they can't be held responsible. Well, this is incorrect, but... Okay, we'll give it to them in order to calm the hell down. So you, as someone who one day will be giving the orders, need to never forget this. So, to sum up the conclusion here, the responsible party is the Queen Mermaid. Ella is not responsible for her actions. Hmm. Well, speaking from a world history, you know, in our world, yeah, I'd have to disagree. In any case. So, we're not just picking on you. It's true that you actually don't have any responsibility here. If we were to let you do it your way, the chain of command would fall apart. And that's right, Al. What you did was following my orders. But... People who are not responsible cannot be... cannot go and take the responsibility. Just like the people who are responsibility... The, just like the people who are responsible... cannot shift their responsibility onto others. And if you're going to be on... atop the chain of command... you need to... carve this into your heart. If you forget this thing, then you're not qualified to be a leader. Hmm, okay. And Hero, Luca. You know, we didn't introduce ourselves. But, well, yeah, we're famous. I will surrender to San Ilia. And I will turn myself in under the condition that only I will be full, bear full responsibility for the attacks. If no other mermaid will be punished, and only I will be, then I will surrender. So, convey those conditions to San Ilia. No way! Mother! Don't worry. She won't be abused. The King of San Ilia is a kind and compassionate person. And El, you need to go on a journey with the hero Luca here. As the next queen, you need to see the world with your own eyes. Hmm? I'm going with the hero? Can I entrust my daughter to you, hero Luca? Yes, I understand. Okay then. Along with the hero, I'm going to study a lot. Well, it'll be a good source of study. And then I'll be a wonderful queen. Hmm, sweet girl, isn't she? Now, I wouldn't normally kick out one of my characters, but I have a reason. Alright, so, we're done here. Let's head to the King San Ilia and convey these surrender conditions. But it's not really going to be alright. They're not going to do anything mean to her. Well, that king is... a tolerant and... highly calculating person. If he were to abuse the queen like this, relationships with the mermaids would be horribly soured. But if he's lenient in his punishment, 
Well, I don't know. Luke is saying he's going to request that the king be lenient in his punishment. So, let's go to San either. San Ida. Yeah, the Mecca Pope. Ah, uh, travelers, welcome. So, let me show you the way. So, instead of the fake Pope thing, it, the true King of San Ilia tells us. Alright, good job defeating the Queen Mermaid. And with regards to her surrender conditions, well, he was listening, so he doesn't really need us to tell him. And, of course, we'll accept the surrender. And... We will... We have no intention of treating her as a war criminal. Seeing as the greater conflict is with the Mao, we need to forge an alliance with the mermaids. Is the best plan. So, with regards to the diplomacy, leave all the rest to me. And thanks to your accomplishments, I'd like to entrust this treasure to you. This is a... A true breeze's soul. Well, this is one of those things passed down in royal families. With it, we're allowed to change jobs to the high order class of, well, the thief line. There's another thing I'd like to give you. In the underground machina research lab, speak to them there and you can receive it. And there are other queens to be dealt with. So, please defeat them. Well, we better go back to the Queen Mermaid and tell her that her conditions have been accepted. Also, the, we need to do something about the Kraken. Yeah, I remember her. Alright, we've heard from the Pope. So we're going to give this to you. This will allow you to use even better Machina than before. It should be of great use on your journey. Machina no Kiwami. Now the secrets of Machina. So if we have this, we can go to the higher level classes in the engineer line. Also, we have a Machina that will be of great use in battle. We recovered it and managed to fix it up. So, here you go. Moors. So, we are going to continue researching. Let's all of us do our best for the sake of the world. Okay. Now we wanted to... That's alright, we want to convey the acceptance of the surrender to her. That's helpful. Alright. I've heard that the surrender was accepted. And now he's sounding us out for an alliance. To think I wouldn't even be imprisoned as a war criminal. And I can continue my work as the Queen. The humans really are pretty forgiving. I was even prepared to be executed there. Well, we said so, but... Again, it's not that kind of age anymore. The age in which you 
suffered what you suffered has already passed. Well, take good care of, care of Al. That girl shouldn't go down the path I went down. All right, leave it to us. So, in keeping with our alliance, I will help you as best I can. Whatever you need, speak. Okay, this is a dried squid. Hmm, it's hard for you to be offering things, but if you've come this far, I guess I'll have a taste. Stop it, it's me! Hmm? The dried squid's folk? Alright, explanation. I see. So that's what happened. And now you're in this form. Well, mermaids are good at healing. So, if I manipulate the power of water and pour it into the, your dried form... Wow! Hmm, I'm back. Great. So then, once again, I am the so Queen of the South Seas, Kraken. Since I was changed into that form, and you saved me, you have my deepest gratitude. And in that dried out body, I accompanied you on your journey quite a ways. I know the mission you are following quite well. So, now it's my turn to help you out. From now on, as your ally, I'll be part of your party. Okay, great. Kraken's in our party now. And the time I was a dried squid, the count of times when I was almost eaten by your allies actually exceeds 10. Hmm, yeah. It was a pretty rough situation. Well, yeah. It can happen when you look like food and all. <clears throat> oh, and one more thing. How about we go and meet Poseidonus in the North Sea Shrine? I'd like to tell her that I've successfully come back to life. And she'll probably be willing to help us out on our journey as well. Alright then, North Sea Shrine. Alright, I'm just speaking to her again. So, in keeping with the Alliance, I'll help. Just speak. Alright, become my ally. I'm sorry, but I can't do that. N right now, I'm worried for my daughter and I wouldn't be able to concentrate on fighting. She must not m travel the path that I tra traveled. After all, I forced my grudge upon her. So, it looks like she isn't going to be joining our group for a worry for her daughter. I wonder how exactly we're going to clear that away, but I'm sure we'll be able to at some point. North Sea Shrine. That's right. Short gray girls are the best girls. You haven't seen me since I got back to my own normal form, Poseidonus. As you can see, I'm back to my original body. Oh, that's great. I was worried for you. It's been a while, so why don't we have a banquet and a drinking party? Hmm, how about we go up to the service world and grab something to eat? Hmm, sounds good. Let's go. And now she's in my party. She became our ally just talking about random threat. The monsters of the sea are the monsters of the sea are all 
kind of like that. It'd be better to say that we flow like the oceans. So where are we going to go eat? Why don't you just go eat your own legs? <laughs> You're such a kidder, Alice. Hmm, next up. We got the spiders and we got the vampires. I think I'd like to go to the inner sea, so... Next time we're going to head for the spider lair. And a couple of uncharted... Well, one uncharted island and another island that's charted, but... We're never actually told has anything on it. In any case, thanks for watching and we'll see, and I'll see you next time when we do that.